the spread of Islam in Asia. How did Islam reach Asia? Islam began many centuries ago in present-day Saudi Arabia. This country is in the Middle East. It's between the continents of Africa, Europe, and Asia. It's no surprise, then, that Islam spread quickly to other areas of Asia. Saudi Arabia is very close to Eastern Asia. Back then, there were no cars, trucks, or airplanes. If you wanted to go somewhere, you had to go by horse, camel, or ship. Slow travel meant that people often stopped and stayed for a few days when they traveled. This is how Islam spread. Many traders and merchants were Muslim. They helped take goods from Asia to Europe or the other way around. They mostly traveled east to Asia, either by land or by sea. Eventually, some Muslim traders started living in Asia. They built masjids and shared their beliefs with others. Islam first reached many small islands in Eastern Asia, such as Indonesia and the Philippines. However, Islam also reached China when traders traveled overland. Many traders and merchants converted to Islam. Muslim traders shared their beliefs with others and traders and merchants agreed with the way of life of Muslims. They could also get better prices from other Muslim traders. Plus, Muslims made a system of credits. It worked almost like traveler's checks. This helped traders make deals. Plus, they didn't have to carry so much money around. Even though Islam traveled very quickly to Asia, it didn't take hold until later. For example, in southeastern Asia, Islam didn't become important until the 1200s. Another way that Islam spread is through caliphates, or empires. For example, the Umayyad Caliphate spread from today's Syria all the way to Pakistan. Then, the Abbasid Caliphate took over. They moved into Turkey. As Islam spread, people translated Muslim texts into their languages. This helped locals understand more about Islam and to adapt it to their lives. Today, there continue to be many Muslims in Asia. About 42% of Southeast Asians are Muslims, making up 25% of the world's Muslim population. Some nations, like Indonesia, Malaysia, and Brunei, are majority Muslim countries. That means most people who live there are Muslim. Islam spread and gained followers over hundreds of years. Today, the religion is still growing. 